Hello Indie Game fans, I have more new releases and updates for fantastic indie games in this video, where it just so happens that we have a number of spooky, gross and grotesque games of interest in this video. Let's begin with Imp of the Sun, a Metroidvania title that I've been looking forward to, which, most interestingly, is based on Peruvian culture and legends, play as the titular character having to go to the four corners of the kingdom to defeat four bosses who stole the power of the sun. I think that this looks fantastic, looking a little like guacamole, and seems to be a decent one of these, but do note that there are complaints about the controls and how the game feels to play. Our first spooky title is Cat Museum, a very creepy and unsettling point-and-click adventure game set in a museum full of cats, but where something is horribly wrong and there are all sorts of monstrosities as well. There have been quite a number of horror point-and-click adventure games, and this looks to fit right in alongside games from the Forgotten Hill franchise for example, being one for fans of this sub-genre. Hi, Uncle Marcus! I need your help, Abby. I need you to investigate a murder. Who's been killed? Me. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. Find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. Developer Wheels Interactive has been killing it with FMV titles, where who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus is the latest with a great trailer so enjoy. June said it was going to be the end of the road for Marcus. Do you know anything about Bradley's poisons? Is what? This family love to bicker. Love it. The whole family hates him. Brainless, stuck-up little moron. I'm not stuck up. This family has got secrets. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share from my cold, dead hands. You really don't see it, do you? He's dangerous. Don't get sucked in. How many spiders do you see on my hand? Does the risk of pain excite you, right? What? Nimini Pimini, Nimini Pimini. <laughs> Who poisoned Uncle Marcus? Oh. Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. <sighs> what the hell happened back there? They're on to me. Who? The killer. Things are only going to get worse. I did tell myself that I would not cover games using this particular character asset pack since this is very overused, but Buccaneers is good enough to make me break my rule, being an open world pirate RPG that is pretty well received. You can play this both regularly or in VR, where it's about sailing the high seas, hunting for treasure, robbing other ships, attacking naval forts and so on, looking like a pretty decent alternative to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The developer of Superbugs Awaken did reach out, and given that they are a Vietnamese studio, I do have to show my support for my Southeast Asian neighbour, where this is a two-player asymmetric co-op first-person shooter, with this trailer explaining how to play. Appearance ...and make vaccine based on it. The son, who will shrink into the cat's body, can see the Superbugs, but can't make vaccine. The father can make vaccine, but he can't see the Superbugs. Communication is the only way to save Mimi. And he's yellow. He's got those like um, paintbrush, like the popsicles. Run as fast as you can. There's a lot of decoys multiplying ahead of you. 
going down the curve, and then once you hit the dead end, just like go. I found him. Soul will be eaten by Soul Collector, which doubles the damage. So we gotta get Soul Collector back. And just keep going. Where are you? How are you on the opposite side of the map? Just hit retry. I see what it. No, 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 no. I just saw what actually happened. The gift that keeps on giving is Human Fall Flat Red Rock, the latest free level to this wobbly physics platformer that is just too good a value proposition not to recommend. This is a desert level that hides plenty of secrets in its canyons, where somehow there's even a gravity gun in all of this, making it another level worth a play if you love this game. Another creepy title is The Upturn, one that has a very curious aesthetic that makes it look like a PS1 game which makes it stand out. It is somewhat of a survival horror action title set in a hotel for the dead, where you're trying to find your way to your room but you get attacked by these monsters and creatures. There are 10 unique monsters and very strange places to explore, like an aquarium or an abandoned shopping mall, looking very strange, weird and unique. Speaking of strange and weird, Golden Light is a first-person roguelite that is exactly that and is somehow even stranger and more disturbing than the live-action portion of this trailer. Its description on the Steam Store page says, Welcome to the Meat Zone, Prop Hunt where props hunt you, giving you an idea of what to expect, where you can eat your weapons and face off against fleshy abominations. I'm not quite sure what to expect from this, since it is almost on the level of something like Cruelty Squad but not as horrid on the eyes, but again, one that showcases the wonder of indie games. Back to something more normal but no less grimdark with Dark Light, the Lost Kingdom update, the latest patch for this sci-fi 2D metroidvania set in an apocalyptic cyberpunk world. This added two new opposing factions, each with their own quest lines, permanent upgrades through the use of a skill drone, an entire new area with three main large maps, two new towns, four new bosses, new enemies, and the usual balancing and quality of life improvements. I've been keeping an eye on this throughout early access and I'm quite happy with the progress so far, so if you love the look of this, be sure to pick it up. The son of Harag 
burns its last embers. In the timber wolf lets out his final grunt. I will enter the valley with my fellow elders and devote my soul to the great hunt. One of the most impressive open world RPGs in early access is War Tales, which released in December with their first major update named Harak's Marshlands, one that adds a whole new region to explore with new landmarks, dungeons, enemies, and more. A plague has descended upon the land, and there are plague infested villages to explore, making things even more dangerous for your mercenary party. This new region is quite different from whatever was in the initial release, with the tactical RPG combat being fantastic as well, making this a title not to be missed, taking the number one spot. For more turn based tactical titles, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.